Hey, what's up everybody? It's Guy and Kicks here back at it again with another review. And in today's video, it's one of New Balance's best shoes of the year so far. And it's arguably going to be one of the best collaborations of 2021. So without further ado, let's jump into and let's talk sneakers. Today's video is on the New Balance 990B3 and Bodega Anniversary Collaboration. So this New Balance and Bodega collaboration dropped on June 16, 2021 for a retail price of $220. The drop on this 990 V3 is something to really talk about and get into it, but I'll definitely get into that later in the video. Let's jump into the colorway materials and design first, and we'll talk about that later. So the official name of this colorway is the Kangaroo Caribou Color. However, as you can see here, you do have a lot of colors on this 990 V3. So starting with the sock lining on this shoe, it's in this teal color. The insole, it's in the orange color. And then on the heel part, Part of the insole it's in this bluish purplish color the upper is primarily in that brown beige color the 3m material is in the gray color the eyelets on this 990 v3 all the way to the top around the heel collar area it has hits of orange color you also have the lace loop here and you have the optimal control embroider there in that orange color as well the midsole has a combination of colors you have the cream color around the forefoot area around the heel area it switches over to a light gray and all also a dark gray as well the heel stabilizer it's in this brown color and then switching over to the outsole of the shoe you have this gun bottom on the forefoot area you have that bluish purple color and then you also have a little bit of cream color as well and then the light and dark gray colors when it comes to the materials on this 990 v3 the insole has this cotton material it doesn't have that mesh material that other 990 v3s have moving over to the front of the tongue it switches over to this nylon material and what I love about it is that it kept that traditional sort of diamond shaped textile material that the tongue of most 990 V3s have. The New Balance and USA name here are in this like plastic material here on the front of the tongue. This 990 V3 came with three color laces. You have that blue color, you also have that brown color, and also this like lighter brown color as well. Like most 990 V3s, the upper is primarily made in this mesh base material, and then it has suede overlays throughout the upper upper of the shoe. As you come down to the toe box area, you're going to find that shiny mesh material. You do have some 3M material across the toe box and also all the way to the tip of the toe box close to the mud guard area. You do have some new bug overlays on this mesh material and they are perforated. The mud guard here is in this hairier suede material. On the lateral side, you do have the end logo and of course it's in the 3M material. I like the 3M material that they use on this 990 V3 a lot more compared to the one that they use on the Kith collaboration. As you can see as well on this lateral side, you do have a combination of the mesh and suede materials as well. All the way to the heel collar on the lateral side, you'll find some additional new buck material in that lighter brown color. On the heel counter of this 990 V3, the suede does change a little bit. It does get a little bit hairier than on most of the other suede overlays on the upper of the shoe. You also have the 990 name in this silver color as well. All the way to the heel part of the shoe around the ankle collar area, you find some additional 3M and you have the Made in USA printed there. This 3M material is also perforated. Below this 3M material, you'll find a nice buttery new buck material in this beige color. And you have the Bodega name in like this orange color as well. And then below the Bodega on the heel counter on the left shoe, you have the year 2006 or when Bodega opened up. And then on the right shoe, you have the year 2021. That represents the 15 year anniversary. And then moving over to the medial side, a lot of times most sneakers on the medial side, there's not a whole lot to talk about, a whole lot to say, because it looks very similar to the lateral side. But on this particular 990 V3, they do have a lot of perforation on the suede overlays on the medial side. Comparing it to the Kith 990 V3, that suede material on the medial side is similar to the suede material on the upper. But on this Bodega 990 V3, 
they added some perforation there as well. On the midsole on this 990 V3, you have a combination of end cap and absorb. You also have this TPU heel stabilizer all the way to the heel part of the shoe. And you also have the New Balance name there in the center. Moving over to the outsole of the shoe, you do have endurance here and you do have a combination of colors as you can see here. I love this gum bottom that it has here. You do have the New Balance name and the orange color around the heel part of the shoe. And then around the four foot part of the shoe and this diamond shaped design, you do have that bluish purplish color here as well. You do have a little bit of cream color there as well. You do have some light gray and dark gray on the heel part of the outsole. And then in the center, you do have that carbon fiber plate that gives you some additional midfoot support. When it comes to sizing, similar to the 990 V3 Kith collaboration, I'll leave a link here so you guys can check that video out. I went with a nine and a half most of my made in usas are a nine and a half I normally wear a size 10 on most nike sneakers like a retro one or a dunk similar to adidas sneakers as well if you never own a pair of new balances and you mostly have nike and adidas sneakers whatever size you are on those go a half size down if you own regular new balances before that are not made in usas then i suggest going a half a size down from those when it comes to comfort the 990 v3 definitely delivers there it has a nice combination of softness and firmness as well i was recently on vacation and i wore my kith 990 v3s and i have to say that I, I definitely walked a lot in those and they felt very comfortable so when it comes to comfort you'll definitely be fine with these 990 v3s when it comes to the materials as expected this is a made in usa new balance so the materials here are very very good the sway materials as always don't disappoint they have a nice back show and they have a cool combination of different suede from hairier suede to lighter suede throughout the upper of the shoe in terms of craftsmanship you're going to find the usual string stick out the usual glue residues throughout the upper and midsole of the shoe but it's not the major it's something you can definitely clip off or clean off it's not a big deal for me i am very happy with the overall construction of this 990 v3 all right guys so my overall take on this collaboration is going back to the drop going back to that release date it was a very interesting drop i do have to say that me personally i didn't think i was going to get a chance to get these because i feel like the hype was growing you know getting some feedback on social media you can tell that a lot of people wanted these uh, bodegas for me personally i was away the day that these shoes dropped so i was a little bit scared i didn't think i was going to have a chance to be able to get in and be able to buy these but luckily i definitely was able to pull over we're actually in puerto rico we're going to where we're going to stay and i was actually able to pull over around 11 50. Uh, my wife and i we both went on and tried to get these surprisingly i thought that it was very easy to get in i was able to add my size to cart but then all of a sudden, as I was trying to check out and pay for these, I just kept getting like an error message or like car was declined. And it was very frustrating because I tried multiple cars. My wife tried multiple cards and it just I just kept getting the same message over and over. I kept going on social media, checking out what people were saying. People were DMing me and basically telling me, yo, I can't get I can't get through. I can't check out. So at least I felt like I wasn't the only one that was having the issue because for a second there, I thought that, you know, it was because I was in Puerto Rico, maybe. Maybe there was an issue there. Maybe, I don't know. That's what I was thinking. But other people from overseas were also hitting me up and they were having the same issue. So at least I felt safe that it wasn't just me. And then around 1220, I think it was 1225, like I was just giving up, man, because I was like, yo, I just can't get in. I can't get through. And then I was like, you know what? I'm on vacation. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna let a freaking sneaker release, you know, stop me from what I was doing. So I pretty much called it a day and I was like, you know what? I'm done. Uh, I guess I'm not gonna get them. I kind of went on, on Instagram and went on a little rant. It was basically like, yo, Bodega doesn't want to take my money. What the hell's going on here? What's happening? Blah, blah, blah. So then we get to a restaurant. It was probably like around 12.30, 12.35. And then I went on my Soul Savvy account and I saw that people were saying, now go back in and try Apple Pay. I went back in. I think it was probably like around 12.40 or something like that and I was able to get through through Apple Pay. So obviously once I got through, I still hadn't gotten that email confirmation with the order number. So I was like, you know what? Let me not get overly excited here because you never know if it's a ghost order. But then a few minutes went by and I got the email confirmation with the order number. And I have to say that, you know, that made my day because like I said, going in, I really didn't think I had a chance to get these. I've tried New Balance Bodegas releases in the past and I've gotten L's before. So my expectations were pretty low on this. And the fact that I got them was just awesome. And it just made my vacation even better. And then I went back on social media, went back on my Soul Savvy account just to see what people were talking about. And people were saying that apparently there was an issue with Shopify. And then Bodega released a 
messages basically saying the same thing that they had issue with Shopify and I guess the website crashed with all the traffic and things like that. They were actually trying to do the right thing and try to save us from those damn bots. They wanted people who really wanted these shoes to get them and apparently they tried their best to prevent those bots from getting in and buying these shoes but you know technology you know it crashed on them it failed them but I think that for the most part uh, most people that wanted them were able to get them and fortunately for those that took the L through Bodega were able to quickly go on the resale market and pay resale but not a whole lot which is a good thing and even the resale value right now is not super crazy I don't know if it's because there's really not a lot of hype behind this 990 v3 model but the resale price is probably like maybe 250 260 uh, for a nine and a half they retail for 220 so it's something that maybe you can put in an offer and maybe you can get them you know maybe 20 25 dollars over retail you know and that's a good thing because for those that really wanted them you know paying maybe 40 50 dollars over retail is definitely not that bad you know for me personally this is my second pair of 990 v3s and i totally love it you know i really don't know in terms of my rankings or you know which one i prefer or anything like that i'll get into that later maybe i'll make another video in the future but overall i like the 990 v3 a lot i love this collaboration you know i love what bodega was trying to do here with this collaboration you know they've done collaborations with other brands and the fact that they chose new balance to do it on their 15th anniversary you know that says a lot you know it's like that perfect relationship and it's just super dope you know what i love about the new balance and bodega collaboration is usually the details are like spot on you know from the laces from the lace tip saying bodega from the bodega name on the heel the insoles you know having the 15 year anniversary and things like that like that's super dope you know when i see collaborations you know i want a little bit of that brand to show on the shoe so at least you can see okay that's a bodega collaboration or that's a kith collaboration whatever unfortunately the last kith collaboration with the 990 v3 you didn't see any kith branding so for the most part for anybody who doesn't know they'll you know they'll just say that's just a regular new balance 990 v3 but for this one if you know you know because you'll see the colorway so you'll you'll know it's the bodega one but if you don't know at least you can see the bodega name on the heel and to me you know that's super dope so as you can tell i highly recommend these 990 v3s from the colorway from the details on this shoe from the materials spot on definitely nailed it and definitely mad props to bodega and the shoes came in this box you have a similar brown color here you have the uh, new balance brand and bodega name as well you have additional new balance and bodega branding here on the side you have the official tag and sku there as well you have the bodega name here in that teal color and also here on the side you have that 15 year anniversary as well and finally you have some bodega and new balance branding here on this tissue paper as well all right guys so let me throw these on and let me show you how they look on feet So that's it for me. Hopefully this video brought you a detailed look of the New Balance 990 V3 and Bodega anniversary collaboration. Let me know in the comments below what you felt about this drop. And if you have any additional questions about these, absolutely hit me up on YouTube, hit me up on Instagram as well. And if you're new to the channel, you haven't yet subscribed, definitely feel free to do so below. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button as well. Hit the like button if you liked the video. And like always, catch you guys in the next one. See ya.